hello everybody. It feels so long since I've just sat down and had a chat with you guys in a semi-professional lighting setting slash, you know, this is going to be a well-made video, one can hope. Basically, if you've not been aware where I've been for the past month or so, I've been uploading kind of weekly vlogs on my channel about my NaNoWriMo journey. So I did NaNoWriMo this year and I hit 50,000 words. So by the time this video goes up, all the vlogs should be up of each of the weeks. I actually can't remember the last time I've done a book haul on this channel. So because I get sent a lot of books, I'm going to try and narrow this down to the books that I've been sent that I'm really excited about and want to share with you guys. Let's just get started, shall we? So about a month ago, this box came in the post and bear in mind when I saw that it was a box and that it had this beautiful kind of foily embossed you know print on it and it basically says We Come Apart by Sarah Crossan and Brian Conahan. If you're not aware of Sarah Crossan, I reviewed her book One last year. I adored One. It was just moving and it's completely written in verse so it's really poetic and this is also written in verse and the proof itself I don't know if you can tell but it's absolutely stunning and I cannot wait to get around to reading this one so this comes out in February and I'm really excited for We Come Apart also major props to Bloomsbury for making a box their proof I love this idea possibly one of the most exciting packages I've received this past year came a few weeks ago it is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. So Lainey Taylor is the author of the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy, which I have read. I read the first two books and it's difficult because I really appreciate the writing, but the story wasn't really, like my heart wasn't in it. So I feel like I need to properly reread that series, you know, take time to properly appreciate it. But basically I've been hearing amazing things about Strange the Dreamer. And this comes out in March, so you know, a few months away. But this is possibly one of the most beautiful proofs I've ever seen. So we've got the sprayed blue edges, we've got the foiled like kind of moth on the cover and the back. And then inside, like guys, you have no idea, look at this. Look at those end pages. I just honestly think it's the most beautiful thing ever. So well done, Hodder. I think it's gorgeous. And I've heard amazing things about this book so far. So I'm going to read you the description quite briefly. The dream chooses the dreamer, not the other way around. And Laszlo Strange, war orphan and junior librarian, has always feared that his dream chose poorly in choosing him. Since he was five years old, he's been obsessed with the mythic lost city of Weep but it would take someone bolder than he to cross half the world in search of it. Then a stunning opportunity presents itself and he has to seize his chance or lose his dream forever. That sounds so epic. I am so ready for this. So thank you, Hodder and Soton, for sending this to me. I am so grateful. It's beautiful. Another really exciting um, book that I got sent this month is Mafiosa by Catherine Doyle. So this is the third and final book, I believe, in the Blood for Blood trilogy, which is about like the mafia, essentially. But it's like a YA romance about the mafia. Like, it's just amazing. So basically, the first book was called Vendetta, and then the second book is called Inferno. Then we have Mafiosa. And I read Vendetta, I think at the start of the year, and fell in love with it, and I've not yet read the second one. So when Chicken House sent me Mafiosa, I knew that I needed to catch up, so I'm hoping to read the second and third one together quite quickly, because this is so addictive. Like the first book, Vendetta, I read it really quickly because it was really addictive and there's just that kind of like romantic tension that just makes a book really readable. So I definitely recommend um, the Blood for Blood trilogy. It's definitely one you won't regret reading. Okay, so the next book is actually a non-fiction book which I've been sent from Pan Macmillan and it is How to Huga, which I believe is how you pronounce that before I get any kind of like comments being like, uh, you pronounced it really wrongly. I probably have pronounced it wrongly, but I think it's Huga. Correct me if I'm wrong, who knows. This is basically a non-fiction book explaining what Huga is and it's the Danish way of living 
kind of in the moment, being very present, but also enjoying the simple things in life. So a cup of tea by the fire, being warm, being cozy. So this is kind of divided into loads of different sections. So we have nature and the seasons, the Nordic kitchen, design and home. And then there's also kind of recipes and stuff. So we've got kind of like a hot Christmas toddy recipe here, which I love. We have a pretty yummy pancake recipe as well. I think this is a beautifully designed book and I love the kind of green slate and it's also got that kind of like, what's this called? Like crisscross textured end pages, I don't know. It's just a really nice book. Okay, so the next book I got was from Michael Joseph. So they sent me one of their biggest thrillers of next year, which is Good Me, Bad Me by Ali Land. I've heard a lot of amazing things about this and I'm really, really excited for it. And basically this is about a girl whose mother is a serial killer. Bit insane, but I've heard really good things about this. This comes out in January and I'm rather excited for this one. So when I said that Strange the Dreamer was probably my most exciting package of the year, I forgot about something else. Um, I forgot that I have this in my possession, which is Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. A proof which is rather floppy and very like, it feels like an American proof. And this comes out in January. I am so excited to read this. I don't really know what it's about, but in the kind of preface it says carve the mark is sophisticated daring and dark and at the same time filled with hope so i like that description this cover is just another level of gorgeous and it's by veronica roth it should be amazing i of course have read a divergent series i think i did a video about allegiant but i don't want to link it to you guys because it's like probably the worst video i've ever made like quality wise and it was a long time ago. If you're really interested in seeing what it was like, you can filter back through my videos. I would not recommend it. Basically, what I'm trying to say here is I love Veronica Roth. I love her books. And I have high hopes that this is going to be even bigger. So I'm looking forward to that one. And we're getting towards the end now. But basically, I received this very exciting silvery package from Faber and Faber. So this is what I received, which is rather exciting. So they sent me a really, really nice card that basically says, with best wishes for Christmas and the new year from Faber and Faber. And they've just like written a little note. And finally, this is my beautiful book that has been included. This is probably the most amazing thing I have ever been sent. It is Habibi and this is by Craig Thompson. Like I said, I don't really know what the story is. I haven't really heard of this book before. I know that I'm going to enjoy flicking through this and I'm really, really excited to get around to this one. So thank you guys at Faber for sending me this beautiful thing. I'm just really excited to get around to reading that. There was also a special gift inside of the package. It was a wrapped book and it was P.D. James's The Mistletoe Murder and Other Stories. So I think this is like a collection of Christmassy short stories um, by P.D. James, who is obviously like a crime writing legend. She was kind of one of the, like she's a pinnacle crime author. Um, and the actual look of this is just so stunning. And finally, this is where a bit of the unboxing element comes in. So I went to the book break at Pam McMillan Christmas party, hence the tote and it was just a lovely night and we got sent home with a goodie bag full of books so i got to take home some wrapped presents which i am going to open in front of you guys but first i want to tell you a bit about the books that were in their goodie bag so first we have the king of christmas i don't know if you can see that at all by carol ann duffy and this is just a beautifully illustrated story all about Christmas and I don't know if you know anything about me I am a Christmas junkie but this just looks like the most glorious thing obviously it's um, a poem that's been beautifully illustrated and I'm gonna be reading this close to Christmas because wow so this does say open me on Christmas Day but I think you guys deserve a little peek so I'm going to open the kind of pink thinner book and try and see what is in this. Oh, this is why I just suck at un unboxing because I can't open anything. Oh, oh, what do, what do we have here? We have The Reader on the 627 by Jean-Paul Didier Laurent. 
I was quite impressed that I managed to pronounce that. This sounds amazing. Okay, I am fully on board with this. It sounds unreal. So it's about reading, it's about love, and um, I am all down for that. So thank you guys at Pam McMillan. That's a really nice gift. Let's go into the gift with the beautiful red ribbon and silver wrapping. Okay, so here we are. Hoping this one will be a little bit easier to open. There we are. Okay, so we have True Vine by Beth Macy. It is an unforgettable tale of cruelty and exploitation, but also of loyalty, determination, and love. This sounds really, really interesting, and I think what is nice about it being wrapped like that is I don't think I would have picked this up myself, but I find non-fiction, especially historical non-fiction, really fascinating, so I think I'm really gonna like this. So thank you guys at Pam McMillan for those really nice gifts as well. I, oh my God. I've just dropped everything. So thank you so much for watching. I hope to get a few more videos up before Christmas. Because Christmas is my favorite time of year, I'm also hoping to do a kind of like little Vlogmas style um, kind of video routine. So stay tuned for that. And do let me know what books you're excited for in 2017. If there's any releases you're looking forward to, do let me know down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.